Josephine McKenna in Rome. Josephine, first of all, give us the details a bit more about what exactly happened. Well, this was a very shocking incident where the bus driver who had taken these children for many years uh, hijacked his own bus, bound the hands of the children, threatened them with a knife and told them that no one was going to survive. Now, he redirected the bus that was going to a sports uh, event in Cremona towards Milan. One of the children on board was able to take his phone and contact police. Police set up a roadblock and uh, the bus was rammed into this roadblock and then set on fire. But thankfully, all the children managed to escape. There were also three children on board. But it, And it's a really shocking incident here, which has really shocked people across the country, as you can imagine, and particularly parents who entrust their children to drivers every day. And uh, as we heard there, many of them were shocked and shaken by what happened to their own children. Now questions are being asked about what sort of checks and controls are being conducted on other drivers across the country. Now, this driver was an Italian citizen of Senegalese origin. He said he wanted to vindicate Europe-bound migrants. This is obviously some very politically sensitive stuff there in Italy. That's right. Uh, his name is Usenu Si. He's a 47-year-old, uh, believed to be of Senegalese origin. It's not clear whether he was born in France to Senegalese parents, but he's been an Italian citizen uh, for many years as he married an Italian. He was seeking revenge, he said, for the migrant deaths that are occurring across the Mediterranean as Africans make their way from North Africa to Europe. Uh, uh, it seems really bizarre and outlandish, but certainly that was his intention. And now police are, are looking to get to the bottom of what really happened. Having said that, uh, this has turned into a major political issue now. The Interior Minister, uh, Matteo Salvini, is now threatening to revoke the man's citizenship and he's facing charges including hijacking, attempted murder and even terrorism.